Hello and welcome to Tammy's Dolls and today I'm coming with my haul that I went um, I think it was early on Friday that I went to a couple of my thrift stores. I don't normally get to too much. There's always the one down the end of the street, but there are a few others around that I like to also get to. And I managed to do that on Friday. So I'll show you some of the things that I bought here. So I bought these nice little plastic slippers here. I thought they could fit the Cubester. So I got those. They're little plastic. Um, believe it or not, they are plastic. They're not cloth at all. I thought they were cute. They were different. I don't know who makes them or who they were for anything. Maybe they're for kids or whatnot. But anyways, I got those. And then you know how you can buy bags of things. Well, anyways, um, I wanted um, this pair of socks. It's one pair of socks in a bag. Um, that's the one pair that I wanted. It was this one right here. I wanted it for the uh, uh, Patty Play Pals. But um, in it, you also have to take everything else that comes with it. But I'll use these somewhere. But I got another package of little blue and white striped socks. But these I wanted too. These are called booty socks. Um, they're vintage, so I got those as well. Now the next thing that I got um, was this nice little... Let me make sure that you can see this here. Let me see what you're seeing. Okay, I'm going to back up a bit here so you can get the whole dress in. I bought this nice little uh, frilly dress full of lace. Let me see what you're seeing. Can you see it? Yeah. This nice little frilly dress full of lace. It has lace around the collar, little rosebuds going across, and then it has the lace going all the way down. A very well-made little dress, a little crinoline underneath, the slip and everything. Um, very cute little dress. I don't know what got to me. I just seen it and I just went, oh my goodness, you, you, this is a nice little uh, spring spring dress here for the, when I do my, I, I'll usually take my dolls outside and I do a nice white display, just of white dresses. Well, a little little bit of color is nice in there too with the white. So I'll be putting this on one of my dolls. It's got the nice ribbon on the back as well. But um, I, I don't know if it's really vintage, maybe vintage-ish, you know, kind of getting towards it maybe. Um, it's made by Fashion Land. It's 18 months. But, um, oh, it's a cute little dress. has some little pearls going down here on the one ribbon. I thought it was quite pretty. But anyways, I picked that up as well. The next thing that um, I got was a Dumbo. I finally got a Dumbo elephant. I've been looking for one for a while here. I, um, I, I, I'm not a big Disney fan. Only on certain things. And I love that newer Disney uh, Dumbo movie that came out. Um, so I took to it. So when I, I thought, well, I want to buy a Dumbo. But the only thing is, is that um, they're so pricey. And I just went, no, one will come. One will hit the used stores. And I will be able to pick it up then. And so I got myself my own Dumbo here. There it is. It's mine. So anyways, um, I got that um, there. And I picked up this guy. I don't know what I was thinking at the time. I thought this this guy here, I know it was Ferdinand the Bull for some reason. I wasn't thinking at the, at the moment. Anyways, can he stand? No, he can't stand. Too bad there wasn't some wires in his in his legs. Maybe he can sit. Okay, let's see what you can do. Okay, we'll do that with you. There we go. But he, I think he's off of Frozen. And I think his name was then. I don't know. You can tell me if it was or not. I don't know all the characters. Like I say, I don't follow the Disney um, cartoons and all that stuff they come up with because I'm not a big cartoon person to begin with so um, to sit for me to sit down to watch a cartoon is huge <laughs> for me to do I did it with, with my kids because they loved them back when they were young I, I dealt with it then but if I don't have to watch one I am more than happy with that <laughs> but anyways I did pick him up thinking that he was Ferdinand the Bull he is an original Disney he's got the big stamp on his tush right there on his hind leg and it says authentic Disney so there we go. So I'll put him over there. Now I did pick up one of these wool, little wool one piece outfits here. I picked up one. I don't think I'm going to buy any more. I've got enough of them now. I'm pretty happy with them, with what I have picked up. It's by Joe Fresh. I'll put that on one of the dolls coming up here. Another thing I picked up, I'm going to be doing a pajama night. Um, a sleepover with the Patty Play Pal girls. I don't know when. So I've been buying up a few nice little pajamas for some of my dolls. And I picked up these nice snowman hockey player pajamas here. So I got those there um, for the, the dolls. Um, one of my dolls. I don't know who, but one of them. I got an idea who. But anyways. And then on top, I found this nice little vintage blue sweater with the nice white trim. Looks always nice on a doll as well. 
So, got that as well. Now, one of the things that I'm going to be doing coming up is, I, this year, I'm going to dress my dolls up for Halloween. And so anyways, I've been doing a lot of thinking about it, and I want to do it. So, I picked up this nice little uh, onesie, out, uh, onesie, sleeper outfit here, with the, the pumpkin on it, with the little stem and the greenery at the top there, the leafy green. And I thought it was cute. Boy, it's ever nice and thick, though. It just And it's made by uh, George, which is a Walmart brand, but it's so nice and thick, and it just feels so warm. So anyways, I'm going to put that on one of my baby dolls, and I'll be doing a... Um, a nice Halloween uh, dress up with the dolls this year on just a few of them maybe. Um, another thing that I picked up I found was this nice eyelet blanket and I thought it was quite pretty and I, what, why I picked it up is I don't need any blankets by, per se it's just that I have those great big prams and we know that the turn of the century was all about the nice crisp white the ivories and um, the eyelets and you know, it's that Victoria time, and until that, like that, the, the Victorian time spilled into the beginning of other fashions that were starting to change, where the girl, ladies' dresses were coming up a bit off the ankle, and of course, some of the ideology and clothing was still there, and uh, a lot of this flowed into um, into the 20s, the 30s as well, and until it finally, you know, it waned itself out you know, as we've approached through the century. But I still like to keep the, the prams looking into that nice Victoria time. And I love the eyelet. And I love, I, I thought this would look nice in one of my, um, my wicker prams that I, my, my big wicker pram that I just got here. So I picked that up as well. It's in very good shape. Um, it's just a crib blanket. That's all it is. It's very newish, but it can give that look that you're looking for. So anyways, I did buy that. Okay, what did I get next? Oh, yes. One of the things I bought was, was this nice little doll. What, another little black doll to go in my black collection of my dolls. She's fabulous. Now, she is, she is marked DVP on her back. We'll take a look at it here. Let's see if you can see that on her back. She is marked DVP right in that little box. Now what I found out about it, and if anybody else knows any more you can tell me, but she's from Denmark. I think that's where she's from. I've never seen one before. She has beautiful black features, a beautiful black little doll. Um, I love love everything about her. When I seen her, I picked her up right away because what I didn't see the face right away. I just saw the body sticking out. So I went and pulled it out and she had that look of an older 1960 body, but I don't think she's from the 60s. I really believe she's um, an earlier, uh, like around maybe even the 90s, 80s, 90s, maybe. I don't know. Anybody know about them, tell me. But She's very well made, very well constructed, and I'm happy to have her in my collection. So I'm going to be dressing her up in the next little while here and get her in my doll collection. But I thought I'd show her to you, so I did pick her up. She was only a couple bucks, too. She wasn't very much. Okay, let's go to the next thing here. Now, we all know Valentine's Day is coming very quickly here, and another few, not, not well, next week sometime. So anyways... um. I just flipped my calendar today, just into February. So anyways, I picked up a few little Valentine Day type dresses. And this is the one I, one I picked up. It's kind of on the vintage side. And let's see what you're seeing there. Back up just a bit more here so you can see the whole dress. There we go. So I picked up this nice little crushed velvet dress. Kind of on the vintage side. It has the nice lace going all the way around. Um, around the dress, right up the back of the dress and everything, on the sides of the dress there. And But inside the lace, there are the hearts going around. I don't know if you can see that or not. There are hearts in the, the lace itself. So this dress I'm going to put on one of my dolls for a nice Valentine Day. I'm going to dress a few up. Not many, but I'm going to dress some of them up. And you'll see this on one of my dolls. But I thought it was a pretty little dress for that occasion, especially with those hearts right in the lace like that. Now, I did pick up one more dress, paid a little bit more than what I would want to pay for it, but believe me, I know it would not have lasted much longer. Because there, were, um, the reason why I went to the thrift store was because I was reading on my email that they there was a 50% sale coming up. I didn't read that the date was for this Friday. I went last, I just went the Friday that just passed. 
thinking, oh my goodness, sale. I just saw 50% sale and ran. You know, I should have looked at the date. Got there and I'm wondering, hmm, where are all the cars? Usually there's a lot of cars and you got to fight people in there because things get picked up pretty quick. And no, and it was just a normal everyday day there. Got inside, I asked about it and they said, no, it's next Friday. And I went, oh, well, anyways, my thinking was if I don't buy this now, it is going to get snatched up. So I picked her up all the same. And this is the dress that I picked up. And this is going to go on one of my Patty Playpal dolls. Probably Patty herself will be wearing this. But anyways, I hope you can see it. I'm going to see how much you can see there. But it's a beautiful dress. I'll bring it up close so you can see. It's full of sequences on it. On the high bodice there, part of the doll, of the dress, I mean. And um, just a beautiful dress. It has layers on. has a nice silk layer right here. Then it has another layer underneath of another slip with crinoline underneath. And another silk slip. So very pretty, pretty dress. And like I said, I paid a little bit more than what I wanted. But you know what? Um, I'm okay with it. So anyways, oh yeah, a couple more things. To go with that nice little red dress, I did pick up a nice little plastic pearl lined. Oh, pricey, pricey pearls. Little purse. I think it's kind of vintage-y. I kind of feel it might be. I haven't seen purses like this around for a little while. But anyways, it's got the nice shoulder strap and everything might go with that dress well it's a little bit lighter but we'll see but anyways and I picked up one more other purse for my black and white thing that I'm still working on but it's coming along pretty good I'm getting almost there now and I'm ready to um, put my display on so anyways there we go that is what I bought at my um, uh, at my thrift store haul and let me get my doll here I got my doll so that's what I got. I got all this wonderful stuff here. Let's get this piece, everybody in there. And um, but anyways, that's what I got. And I hope you like that. Oh, I did get one other pair of socks that came in that bundle. It was a pair of Dory socks. Just saw them sitting on, on the ground there. But anyways, um, you got to take, like I say, what comes in those packages. But anyways, everybody have a great day. I hope you like my little haul here that I have. And uh, more to come. A lot more to come. I've got some other ideas coming up here. So have a great day. i got to go to work today. So um, I'm going to get myself some lunch here. Have a great day. Bye-bye.